Today's coverage is brought to you by the DSC Studio, bringing people together within the universe. Hello, I'm Archie Sodad, bringing you the conclusion of the Mitten Invitational. We have a gorgeous sunny weather with a little bit of a breeze for our players this morning going into the early afternoon. First, a Q&A exclusive with David as we get more personal with who he is and his passion for golf. So I started golfing when I was about 12. Uh, I went with my brothers, my brother-in-law, and you know, I never actually paid for like golfing. Like we would only golf nine holes at the time just because we were still new to everything. And then I would just use their clubs and then like just kind of catch in from like the third hole or something when we're like further away from the clubhouse. Just kind of pick up, just try to hit, you know, play like five or six holes and then like when we get closer to the clubhouse, I just kind of stop. I have a Nike bag with a tailor-made driver and five wood. I use a three woods Adams club, four iron, down to pitching wedge where Cleveland, like the whole set that was given to me by my brother-in-law. And then the two wedges are the ones that I bought myself. Like those were the only ones that I bought along with my three hybrid. And then I have a putter that was given to me by my brother-in-law as well. Like most of my clubs are hand-me-downs. And you know what? I'm not disappointed. Like these are really good clubs. Balls do I use? The only two that I have and need. <laughs> okay, no, uh, Volvix and Bridgestone are the two that I use the most right now. What I like is Adidas. Like, I'm Adidas all the way. Like, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I love their brand. I love their clothing. You know, whatever I have, I have of that. So, I used to have a subscription with short par four so i just kind of got random clothing random brands have i met any pro golfers you know meeting is something okay no no i haven't i almost met michelle we she was coming up on the 10th tee box and just right there like nobody said anything to her and i was like this is a great opportunity to say something but then like the that little like part of me, I just went back to like my shy high school years, you know, like a schoolboy again. <laughs> a schoolboy who desperately wants to make sweet, sweet love to you. There's so many beautiful courses out there. I mean, I always wanted to play at uh, TPC Sawgrass, but then there's Augusta National. I think I would have to choose that one. My drives and my putting, I would say, are the best assets of my game. And then I, my main weakness, it's definitely bunker shots. I, it's too much, like, I don't know. I just, I can't do oh, bunker shots. Oh, it's in there. And that's happened oh, a lot so far during this tournament. Who do I idolize? You know, I idolized Tiger Woods like so much. He changed the game for me. Like he made me want to go golfing. You know, as well as my uncle, who first like introduced me to actually playing golf when he passed away. I mean, oh man, that that shocked me. I know I haven't seen him in quite a while. Like, I've just been very distant. But you know, like I'm never gonna forget what he meant to me. You know, my uncle was there to to give me my first set of clubs. He introduced me to golf. And for that, I'm so thankful. You know, whether it's golfing or just anything in general, you know, like whatever that you have, like whatever you find passion in, your goals, your dreams, like don't stop chasing after it. Like I've had a roller coaster of a journey so far. It's not an easy task, you know, the journey itself, but like that's the greatness of it but I'm gonna make the most of it. And I'm continuing every day to try to push myself to go after it. I'm David and I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Uh, hopefully you got some insight from it. You know, 
whatever. If not, you got to know a little bit more about me and my passion for golf.